He is the Lord Almighty, Omnipotent King, Rock of Ages, Prince of Peace, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Exalted One, Divine Deliverer, Provider, Protector, Ruling Lord, and Reigning King of all the Universe. the teacher of righteousness, the instigator of justice and the instructor of goodness. He is the perfection of life, the father of wisdom, the living water and bread of life. He is the way, the truth and the life, the bright morning star, the everlasting father and the light of man. He is my provider, my sanctification, my banner, my shepherd, my healer, my peace and my righteousness. He is sovereign and sufficient, merciful and mighty, all powerful and awesome. He is my father, my helper, my guardian and my God. He is the Alpha and Omega, the first and last, the beginning and the end. He is the keeper of creation and the creator of all he keeps. The architect of the universe and the manager of all times. He always was, always is, always will be and never wasn't because he is unmovable, unchangeable, undefeatable and incorruptible. His character is flawless, his reputation is spotless. His love is boundless, his word is priceless, his faithfulness is matchless. And his kingdom is endless, he was bruised and bought healing, he was pierced and eased pain. He was persecuted and bought freedom. He was dead and bought life, he is risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world can't understand him. The armies can't defeat him. The devil couldn't tempt him. The wicked can't stand him. Nero couldn't crush him. Hitler couldn't silence him. The new age can't replace him. The people couldn't get enough of him. And the world can't ignore him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. The Sadducees couldn't trap him. Pilate couldn't convict in him. Herod couldn't kill him. The persecution couldn't scare him. The beatings couldn't shake him. The grave couldn't hold high. The grave couldn't hold him. Death couldn't master him. And the gates of hell can't stand against him. He is a friend to the good hearted, a defender of widows, a father to the fatherless, an advocate of the persecuted, a guardian of the innocent, a light for the lost, and a hope for the home. And a hope for the hopeless, he is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love, wonderful in counsel and magnificent in wisdom. He is holy, 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 worthy of the highest praise, the greatest glory and the utmost honor. He is robed in majesty, armed with strength dressed in righteousness, and has a crown of glory like no other. He is like love, longevity, and Lord. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness, and God. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right. His word is eternal. His word is eternal. His will is unchanging. And his mind is on me. He is my redeemer. He is my savior. He is my guide. He is my peace. He is my joy. He is my comfort. He is my Lord and rules my life. I was poor, but he made me rich. I was a slave, but now free. A sinner, but now forgiven. A fool, but now wise. Dead, but now alive. And blind, but now I see. 
I serve him because his bond is love, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And his goal for me is abundant life. Never leave me, never forsake me, never mislead me, never forget me, never overlook me, never fail me, and never disappoint me when I fall. He lifts me up, when I fail, He forgives, when I am weak, He is strong, when I am lost. He is the way. When I am afraid, He is my courage, when I am vulnerable. He is my shield, when I am shaken, He is my rock, when I wander, He finds me, when I stumble. He steadies me, when I hurt, He heals me, when I am broken, He mends me, when I am blind. He leads me. When I am hungry, He feeds me, when I face trials. He is with me, when I face persecution, He protects me, when I face problems, He comforts me. When I face loss, He provides for me. I follow Him because He carries me all lives. The power of the powerful, the agent of days, the ruler of rulers, the leader of leaders, the overseer of the overcomes a consuming fire. And the Sovereign Lord of all that was, and is, and is to come. He is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, omnibenevolent, everlasting and incomprehensible. Oh, I wish I could describe Him, but I can't, because there are no words that can define Him. No poems that can illuminate Him, no rods that can measure Him, no canvas that can portray Him, no though that can comprehend Him. No minds that can conceive him, no tongue that can explain him, and no temples that can hold him. He is simply everything for everybody, everywhere, every time. And in every way, he is God, he is faithful, I am his, and he is mine, because he loves me. He said it, he meant it, I believe it, and that settles it. And if I forgot anything, well, He's been there and done that. So who is this guy, sir? Who is this king of glory? He's everything to me. 